what's on? What's going on? David Alderman here, Friday evening, Friday afternoon. But I'm here with Josh from, look at that, yeah. Glass Wood. Look at that. You know, I, I don't know why I don't get any swag. <laughs> Indeed, we're, huh? working on it. we're working on it. You know? We're working on it. Right? Because look, look, this guy right here, look. The, what does it say? The dumbbell, dumbbell man. man. See, I don't uh, get swag. All right. That's suiting. It's suiting. Yeah. All right. All right. So th listen, uh, Josh is making all my cradles to spec, and I'm going to have him talk about, you know, like his process because because I'm really particular in my clients. You know, we, they don't want something that's inexpensive. They want the best. So that's what we're going after. So I'm going to have him go over that in a second. But I'm going to show you this print that I just got done also, and this is a limited edition, which will tie this whole thing together. So just hold on a second here. Yeah, so, so this is this is this print. It's a 40 by 60. And um, it's actually it's actually being done for a designer here in Denver. And I, I'm sure she would be okay with me using her name, but I didn't ask her, so I'm not gonna do that. But, um, this is a limited edition and this is done by Painted Pixel. And they're right there uh, in the art district at Colfax and Wadsworth over there across the, on 16th and um, right there next to the to uh, Walmart. So yeah, just picked this up this afternoon. Super cool, look at that. So th this is a uh, curveball if you go on the website, 40 by 60. But I'll, sh I'll show you that later as I glue this thing down. So, so back here, um, I, I spec these 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 panels out with a Baltic birch, and that's that's like the best thing because the archival archivability, right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't leak any sap, and it's just a great product. So, if you want to let, let Josh tell you why why it's so awesome. Yeah, I mean, well, for one, it's the only sheet that's uh, um, applied. Almost all sheets are an MDF core, which is really absorbent to liquid. So obviously that isn't a good thing. And it's just pretty. Most stuff that's a quarter of an inch, it's uh, pretty flat. And if you were to look close here, there's just a lot of grain in here. And I know a lot of artists prefer that. And I go with the quarter inch specifically just because it has a little bit more, uh, a little more structure to it. Right, um, right. A lot of other companies use eighth of an inch. So I, I know with me putting putting, you know, I mean, let's say a, a, a piece of art, a forty by sixty could take me like two hundred hours of time, and and I glue my watercolor paper down onto onto these pieces, and you know if it's if it's not if it's, if it's not if good it's... after I soak the paper with water. You know, and I've worked on it for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. it, this wood could leak, yeah. you know, and and then and then of course when my client, you know, and then when I put the finish on it, um, it's got to be perfect. Yeah, you know. So this, this is really the best. This is high high end, right? Yeah, everything yeah. is. Um, you know, the poplar for my the profile portion. It's all hand selected, and a lot of the stuff I just mill right here in my shop. So uh, hold on, yeah, hold on, hold on. Well, cool. There's, um, there's a lot of attention to detail, and you know I care about this stuff. As an artist, you know it, it means something for me that my fellow artists also have high quality products to use as well. Yeah, you know, I mean that's that's you know I love the whole thing with the art thing is like I just love. It's, it's the reason why I try to sell direct all my pieces is because I want to be I want to know my customers. It's about relationships, right? right? Not, yeah, like it's, it's Friday. Things, it's Friday you know? afternoon, and who do you want to be hanging out with in the afternoon? You know, I rather have, be you than right, you know. Right? Like... You know we, we talked about a lot of shit that we can't put on this video, but anyway, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we solved some world problems today. But anyway, um, it, it's just it's just how you want to live your life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, so it's so it's so cool to deal with somebody local that's freaking kick ass. Because you know, I used to have this stuff done actually out of the country and, and it, up in Canada. And then of course, when COVID happened, the trucks got hijacked and a bunch of other stuff. So I just look at that as a fortunate thing that happened. Yeah, it worked out. Yeah, because the, you know, he, he makes the best, the best stuff. And so with that, if you go out to Glasswood, 
on Instagram. Instagram. Instagram um, or my website, glasswoodinc.com or glasswood.inc on Instagram. Because, I mean, he's he's doing this for me, but let me tell you, it's, it's some of the best, he makes some of the best framework for any of your collections or, you know, if you're not an artist, you're a collector or somebody. I mean, your your frames are amazing. For sure. Yeah. You're yeah. going to save about 200, 300% coming to me versus a frame yeah, shop. Yeah, plus they're so good. They'll do so a great good. job. They'll do a great job at a frame shop. It's just, you know, I, they have a business overhead. I don't have a store for right, them, you right, know, so... Right. I get to uh, have competitive prices. I mill it all from scratch, and I get to put some intention behind every project. So, yeah. So cool. Any of your framing needs, anything like that, go out to glasswood. Dot ink. Glasswood. Dot ink or glasswood. Yeah, glasswood ink. Dot com or glasswood. Dot ink on Instagram. You know, he, he's pretty. <laughs> damn, he's a freaking baller artist too. So anyway. Uh, have a great weekend. Peace out. All right. See you.